There is a group of you who have signed up, who have registered to participate in plea bargaining. And they have given us copies of those files to review. The rules say the court can either reject or accept. They cannot vary. That's what the rules say. I've agreed. Now if you give me a period of time, then the man told me that I should have rejected that guy, but I have to fulfill his needs. Every year, Pepperdine University sends a group of people from here, lawyers, law students and professors, and they team up with the prosecution and the judiciary and the law society and uh, they promote it in different prisons. Our goal is to assist Uganda in formulating their own plea bargaining approach that best fits, fits their culture and their expectations and we're watching them develop into a very efficient system that is taking time but it's making a lot of progress and we're very and giving lots of prisoners who have overstayed on remand access to justice. We are told that this prison was meant for 240 inmates but now there are 1,500 inmates. And if they went through the normal procedure, it would take another 10 to 20 years to complete the cases that are pending in this court. We use a little less than uh, 36 million shillings to dispose of 165 cases. Now, 30, 30 million shillings would not help us to dispose of even 30 cases during an ordinary criminal session. Normally, our the judiciary headquarters sends to us about an average of about 30 million to dispose of such cases in one criminal session. 